Today I'm going to show you how to take this $65 Vegeta and turn it into a $125 Vegeta. Eh, kind of. What am I talking about? Well, this beautiful 24,000 power level Vegeta, which I love minuses that gap, it runs $65 new from Premium Bandai. And these days it's more expensive than that, which sucks. But if we base it off of original retail price, $65, what do I mean when I say we turn it into like $125 version? Well, I mean, that this Vegeta, he doesn't have his full armor. So when you get the armor down here, it doesn't have his tail. This is all like, hey man, he's fighting like Ginyu Force and stuff in this. This is Frieza time. Planet Namek. We gotta lower his power level to make him more expensive, which is a weird thing to do. All right, it's been a while. I actually had all of those parts for this Vegeta to show you off the, the things. And now I have two other ways to do it. So we're gonna look at all of these together and see really which one's the best. And then I gotta figure out like how to break down that other video clip from the old desk. Ugh. Anyway, first up is this set here, which I previously recorded. So there, we did it. So we take all that stuff. We go to AliExpress and then we buy this little kit for like 22 bucks or something stupid. Then it arrives and you go, oh yeah. I have to put it together myself. What do I do? Well, first off, to get started, you can buy this desk mat with the link down in the description. You can support me because I drew it and made this desk mat available for you. And for me, obviously. But then after you do that, you take this little kit and then you look at it and you kind of feel a little stressed out. And you're like, oh my God, there's so much stuff. Well, it's not that bad. The hardest part's gonna be glue or tape or whatever we use to stick it all together. So I will not only show you how to make this guy look like a $125 figure, <laughs> and that's because the original armor version of him is just expensive these days. And if you like his first appearance with all of his armor on before he goes eight, <laughs> you take these parts and put it here. Now, does it match up the colors and stuff? It looks pretty good. It's not perfect but it's super close, especially without using the camera. It's just a tad lighter than this, but you also get broken parts. Now, how does that work? Well, these broken parts are going to go up here. So we have the ability to remove these shoulder pads, which is great. And then you can kind of build your own dude. There's little marks on the inside to let you know what's left and right on these shoulder pieces. The skirt section is all the same, so it doesn't matter. And then of course it comes with his tail. The only issue here is that you have really, really tiny parts. This is best for somebody that has some skill with using hobby glue or super glue or something, because this is gonna, you're gonna have to be very precise, very delicate and patient. The itty bitty tiny little tiny tiny piece also has an L and an R on it. So you can match it up with the L and R section of his shoulders. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny tab right on this piece, and that has to go into, oh God, you're gonna lose this stuff. Be very careful. The shoulder pad has a tiny little divot in there. So you're gonna have to match up those pieces, which is not easy. So it does stick in by itself, but again, I mean, you're really gonna have to glue this thing because that's gonna pop out for sure. And then the same thing on the other side. So you're gonna match up with these larger chunks. You have an L and an R and you have to be sure to line up those pieces and we're gonna have to glue that piece on like that. So that way it can snap into his back mount. And then you have broken armor, which is awesome. I mean, it's kind of like the desk mat with the broken armor. Maybe we can get away with the, for the sake of showing it off in this video, because I will glue this. So for now, I'm just gonna use a little bit of this tacky stuff, which is definitely not long-term, but it might be enough to help us put this thing together for the sake of you knowing how this is supposed to look. And there we go. So that is what it would look like, but that is essentially what you're gonna get. You just wanna, again, this is definitely a glue scenario. Moving on from there, you have the pads on the outside. You have the white sections on the inside. These are all three the exact same size. So you don't have to worry about having a left, right, or middle, which is great. You just need to worry about getting it together. Gluing these pieces, way easier. You just need like a little dab right in the center or something. And then you would just stick this on, make sure it's lined up 
properly. We have the pad sections completed and then the tail itself is actually pretty simple. And this is kind of a smart way to do it without needing like major sculpt parts like the original official version. So the tail is one piece and then it has these divots on the inside here. So you would just take these things and then snap them in. So the downside is unlike the official version, this is not going to have a range of articulation and posability, especially on the sides. So this might be best for somebody that wants a Vegeta that's just kind of standing there. <laughs> this might not be good for uh, like some kind of action pose. But as you can see, it's already very much that Saiyan armor that we know and love from the early days of Dragon Ball Z. And because it's SH figure arts, it's easy to pop things apart. So we can just wiggle and pull the lower half of his body and stick her in there. At least you know, and you have an idea of what this thing could look like. It honestly, it looks great. You have the other damaged shoulder, which we could put on, but I just wanted to see what this looked like all together with the damaged one. And then of course, we can take this poorly done tacky version. And there you go, Vegeta in all his Saiyan pride. It looks fantastic. It takes a little bit of work. It's 22 bucks. So I do recommend it if you're okay putting stuff together like this or you got somebody that could help you do it. For sure, definitely worth it. There you go. He's now worth $125. No, not really. You got some cheap parts on there, but <laughs> you know what? We had fun. We got a new version of Vegeta and it's my favorite armor set. So awesome, love it. Now we look at this super awful, disgusting knockoff. <laughs> it's, it's like it's falling apart in the box. This is bad, but it comes with a stand. I mean, I guess it's worth it already because of the stand. This cheap, gross looking thing. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh my God. Now this is based off of an older version of Vegeta from years ago where he had this armor. The idea is to find the best solution for the best price to give him that armor with this body. We might be able to do it. God bless, this is so bad. Look at this. It's all, <laughs> it's cast in red for this and then very poorly painted. All right, I don't think there's anything we can use from this set right here, but maybe, oh God, <laughs> the leg isn't even attached. Ugh, it's really, really awful. And then these are glued to his body. Anyway, we only need to break this thing apart, which is actually kind of easy. Don't buy this. Well, that answers that. This is all attached to this. So you can't do it. I was really hoping that I could use this version to, to have the articulated panels because you can't do that with that one. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I made a mistake and I can't do the tail either. Well, that's, that answers that. Should you buy the knockoff to use Vegeta for the, no. Should you do the, no. <laughs> Don't even waste your time. All right, now this is something that is brand new. This is Demoniacal Fit, and they're basically doing their Kaioken version of this Goku, which is all over the place right now uh, for the SH Figure Arts version. I don't know why they went this route and decided to, to make it. Anyway, I will do a full review of this Scarlet Martial Artist 16,000 power level, which is clearly a Kaioken Goku, but that's not what today's video is. Today's video is about this accessory part that's in there, which is this thing. It's very soft. I think that's, I think this is a bonus for this piece is that it's soft. So it's, while it doesn't articulate, it uh, it is pliable. So let's take a look at that um, and see if it's worth it. Maybe this is the right, right way to do it. All right, it looks awesome. It was super easy to do, no effort other than removing his waist and then sticking it on there. Where this one, you have to actually like stick all the parts together, glue them together, whatever. But you have optional shoulder parts and it's 22 bucks. It's just great. A little bit of glue, it's all. Comes with the tail. This piece, I mean, all right, let's think about this. This guy, I don't remember how much he runs. We're gonna say minimum 40 bucks, whatever the price was, that's the problem. I don't want this, I don't care. Kyo Ken, don't care Ken. Don't care oh Ken, <laughs> I don't know. Idiot, this is wild. They should have just sold this piece. This is great. This is definitely the best way to do it. Uh, colors look great, it matches close enough. I mean, it is a little bit different. Like it's a, the tone is a little bit different. This is the right way to do it. So the problem now is that if you try to get this thing, this pliable one, and they because they don't sell it separately, 
you have to buy this full figure to get it. Or you're gonna find somebody that listed it online. It's gonna be priced way more than it should be because this thing was 22 bucks. Comes with the tail, comes with the shoulder parts, broken alternate shoulders and stuff. But there you go. I, if, if I had the ability to just choose this section only, then yeah, this would be it because it's pliable, which means you're gonna be able to articulate. This is, this is the way to do it, to get him in his uh, traditional armor or first appearance armor, whatever. There you go, folks. I hope you learned something. I hope this was helpful. What to not buy knockoffs, what to do buy either of these options. If you wanna see the review of this Vegeta, then click the top link there. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.